My name is Gordon White and in this screencast we're going to uh, show you how to give the effect of somebody holding an old postcard of a scene and placing it and trying to match it up with the scenery behind you. So let's get started, we'll make a, a selection of this card in hand to start off with. So we'll use the quick selection tool. Once we have this, a neat way of getting this onto there is to just use the move tool and drag it straight onto the, the image behind. Don't need this image now. So now we need to place this. Sometimes you, to, to align it's not a bad idea to reduce the opacity. This way we can see the image behind. And we know where we need to pull it out to and to align. Once we're happy with this, we can put the opacity back up to its original. Now the effect we're going to do is make a border around this. So again we'll use the quick selection tool. It doesn't have to be perfect but obviously we'll try and make it a, as neat as possible. Now we'll go to Select, Modify, Contract. We can put a figure of say 20, well we won't go that far, we'll go say 15. Now you can see we've, we've got some sort of a border around here, but we've got the thumb. So we need to get rid of that, we don't want this around the thumb, so we'll just select the uh, rectangular marquee tool and hold in shift on your keyboard we can join the marching ants a little bit better there. Once we have this we'll select the background layer down here and using the keyboard we'll go Control J. Now you can see we've got a little cut out of the image which we'll just place inside of here but obviously it's not showing at the minute because it's below this layer so just literally drag it above. You can see we've now got the image of the bridge inside of this frame. But to give it a more realistic look we'll just move it slightly so it's just slightly out of uh, line. So we'll control and hold these two together and now if we move the, onto the move tool we can just rotate it slightly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Select. Okay. Um, now you can see we've got the thumb still showing through here so we need to um, get that back in. So we'll select the thumb layer, just hide the visibility of the top one to start off with and we'll use the quick selection tool again and we'll just select the thumb. Happy with this now. We can just select the top layer and hit delete on the keyboard and we now have the thumb showing through there. That's not looking too bad so what we'll do now is we'll just add some effects to the the area inside here. So on the layers, just make sure you have this layer selected here. We'll just select hue saturation. Within the hue saturation we'll select colorize and if you just select, select this little icon here, it'll only affect the layer that we're actually working below. So it'll only affect the layer below. So now we need to make some adjustments on here. Drop the hue down and the saturation. Maybe the lightness across a little bit. And if we go up to filter, noise, add noise, you can set this to a, an amount you want. Just playing around with this will give you the effect. Select OK. And now you can see we've got quite a nice little look here. Um, obviously playing around with this type of technique. Um, you can obviously improve on this. You can. We could. We could have 
improved on this selection here and got rid of this and we could also add some different effects to this photo but you can see using some some of the techniques in Photoshop Elements can create uh, a nice finishing look. This is another video tutorial from elementsbox.com